Star Wars. So in the same vein as my last video when I went through my Once Upon a Zombie collection, thanks to a TikTok comment, uh, this week I also got a TikTok comment asking to go through my Padme and Madala collection. Um, so I thought I would show you those. So first up, we have this beauty right here. Uh, this is the kind of classic Queen Amidala doll that everyone thinks of. Her hair is stunning, um, as is her headdress and her face, and the details on this doll are incredible. These are like solid plastic. This is printed. Everything has a a lining or an edge. These dolls were produced by Hasbro for the release of Phantom Menace. Um, I adored Padme Amidala as a kid and Queen Amidala was like everything to me. I was like, this is incredible. Like that kind of space opulence fashion obsessed. Um, and since then I have <laughs> grown to love Padme even more from defending her um, and defending the prequels in general. Um, and especially reading the books that, that they released around Padme in Feral series, I absolutely adore. Um, and it kind of goes into how all the elements on Queen Amidala's outfits are used in strategy because they're, she's from the planet of um, fashion and art um, and like these are actually EMPs or like force fields and like everything has a reason and a motive but also holds art above everything else in such high regard and I just adore that. This is another absolutely beautiful Queen Amidala doll. They really didn't like scrimp on the fabrics which I think is really good because the prequels if they do anything well I mean I love the prequels um but they do costume beautifully and like this pleated fabric this sundry pleat fabric doll scale are you kidding this and then how this has like the knot detailing on it it's incredible um she also has like full sleeves under here everything, all the hair and headdresses, like this is actual hair um, sculpted into this. She is the moment. I also have another version of this doll um, without the coat that I got on eBay years ago because I never thought I would find one with the coat. Um, so I can grab that now to show you the under underdress. So here she is, which is insane that all this detail is covered. Um, they only have the, the fabric on the front, which makes sense. Um, but this is like a perfect match for it. It's so beautifully layered. Uh, this detail on the sleeves, stunning. All this work around the neck piece. It's just fantastic. This is like the era when they weren't scared to just like make Star Wars women as dolls. Um, because now they have to be like an action figure. So it's like, I might just make, if there was ever a character made to be a doll, it's Padme Amidala. Um, and here is this underskirt, which helps with the scale. Very happy we got the Padme dolls we did, um, but I just wish they would make some like, I would kill for a Padme collector doll or like anything of beautiful quality now as well. With like the way we do faces and doll hair, like there's so many things you could do with a Padme doll that would just be incredible. Here is another stunning Queen Armadala look. Mine is missing the head gem, which I need to replace at some point. But these feathers for the headdress are amazing. The little like Fabergé eggs on the side. Um, this is all printed, but then the fabric texture on this is like sewn in, embroidered. This is all embroidery, this isn't printing. Uh, this is pleated like, hello, hello. The detail, this is the separate layer. And I know, <laughs> I know this isn't crazy to people who've been collecting dolls for ages, but at the moment, the quality we've been getting with dolls has not matched this. So it's just really amazing to see that this is what they used to do. Like, look at that scale. Look at it. And the real feathers on a Playline doll. Stop it. Here we have another. This one was like a hair play doll. I also watched on the channel. Um, so she has this um, lovely pleated metallic with this textured after there and then boots. Um, her hair is of course amazing and very long for hair play. I've kept her in the, the look that she came in. But a really nice like utility Padme look. 
Save the most curse till last. Um, this is Undercover Padme. Um, I am obsessed with this doll. The scale of this cloak is amazing. The like ombre fabric, all the way down to like having sleeves under there, beautiful. But obviously she reveals into the queen. Gagged. Um, but yeah, it's a little, a little cursed. But also this face is gorgeous. And I'm like, you could have done Padme dolls for the next two films with this. Why did you not? Um, <laughs> fine, I'm fine. I'm very normal about Padme and Madonna, as you can tell. So that was a look at my Queen and Madonna collection. I do collect Star Wars in general. Um, so I have a few more prequels dolls. I have some Kylo, some Rey, some Leia. Um, but mostly prequels are my love. If there's anything in particular you would like to see, leave a comment and I'll have a look and see what I can do. Until then, bye. May the force be with you.